With over 2.3 million sales of its Qashqai crossover model on the board, Nissan has gone all out to keep this second generation version ahead of an increasingly competitive chasing pack. So it's smarter, classier, cleverer, quieter, better equipped and more sophisticated. British designed and built, this one's going to take some knocking off the number one spot. If there's one thing the original first generation cash car model is remembered for, it's the way that it revolutionized the dynamic responses that keen drivers could expect from a car of this kind. Not much changed in that regard in the transition to this second generation design and the further small improvements that have been added to this revised version by the Nissan engineering team in Cranford in Bedfordshire have kept this crossover SUV well established as one of the on tarmac benchmark models in the class. Sayat's rival Attica still sets a high standard in terms of drive dynamics, but improvements to the steering have enabled this Nissan to narrow the gap to its Spanish competitor. And that's aided by active trace control. That's a system that helps get the power down through the bends. Where this Qashqai remains a class leader is in uh, the areas of ride and refinement, and they've been both further improved with this revised model. It is the quietest car in the class, and we particularly like the clever active ride control system that subtly dabs the brakes over bumps that might otherwise cause the body to pitch about. We'll finish with a quick guide to engines. Almost all buyers will choose either the entry-level 140 PS 1.3 litre DIGT petrol unit or go for the 1.5 litre DCI diesel variant, which remains a standard setter for WLTP efficiency in this segment, managing up to 51.4 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle and up to 139 grams per kilometre of CO2 in front-driven manual form. Other engine options include a 160 PS version of the 1.3 DIGT petrol unit or the 1.7 litre DCI 150 diesel power plant that you'll need if you're one of the few Qashqai buyers wanting to specify Nissan's all-mode 4x4i all-wheel drive system. Across the range, there's the option of the company's Xtronic CVT auto gearbox. Nissan says that the most dramatic enhancements made to this revised second generation Qashqai are to its exterior. Really? Well, our perspective is, just as yours will probably be, that apart from the prominent new front grille, the other changes are pretty difficult to spot. Not that many were really needed. Uh, the sleek, poised styling of this second generation design, a gym-toned version of its predecessor, has proved to be one of the things that customers liked most about it. Time to take a seat inside, where, as usual with any compact SUV or crossover, uh, you'll appreciate the slightly elevated driving position that makes such a difference with urban motoring. As for the update changes made to this revised model, well, as with the improvements to the exterior, these are pretty subtle, but they are possibly quite significant in terms of the day-to-day -day ownership experience this car can offer. Now, if you are familiar with the original version of this second generation design, uh, then the first thing that you're probably going to notice is this revised steering wheel. It's now slightly larger, it's a little smarter, and it's now fashioned with this flattened lower section to make getting in and out just that little bit easier. Avoid the two entry trim levels and you'll also find further updates. Now, firstly, the provision of these two much more comfortable monoform sports seats with their higher backs, uh, their extended bases and tapered shoulders. And secondly, this updated 7-inch Nissan Connect Center Dash infotainment system, which now gets a slightly smarter user interface. So, time to take a look in the rear. Now, though the seats still don't slide or recline, they are positioned in a way that offers reasonable space for your legs. Now, that was arguably the most important change made as part of the transition to this second generation design. And that is something that Nissan has tried to further improve on in this revised model by providing these slimmer front seat backs with their scratch resistant plastic trim.
And out back, well, another key change that was made in the transition between first and second generation Qashqai models uh, was the way that uh, Nissan was able to increase the size of the luggage bay. And these days that's rated at 430 litres. Once the bench is flat, 1,585 litres of total fresh air can be freed up, which is very competitive by class standards. In summary then, this remains a car from a brand that clearly knows its market. It's still a benchmark and it's still a starting point for anyone buying in this segment.